Hey y'all, Florida boy here. I'm gonna take a minute and talk about uh, top water poppers or popping corks in this case. Um, I'm going to, to take some of these uh, popping corks and, and modify them and turn them into top water poppers. But before I do that, let me take a second and just, just talk about these, uh, these popping corks. Uh, they're a very durable and effective tool for, for calling in and, and catching fish. Uh, you can see that they're slotted and weighted at the bottom. Simply slide your line through the float and push this pin down to hold it. And you can adjust the height of it, uh, you know, depending on the water column or, or where you feel the, the bait is uh, suspending or feeding. I just got this one rigged with a, a jig head and a soft plastic tail on it. but. Uh, you know, I fish live shrimp underneath them. I fish uh, gulp shrimp. We use them in freshwater for bass. So there's a lot of applications. Uh, most people use them for catching trout and redfish. It's, it's very effective here in Florida, Louisiana, or Texas. So a uh, great tool, uh, very durable and affordable. So I want to take these and I want to modify them and turn them into a top water popper. So what what I'll do, and I'll, I'll go through all the process. I haven't done one yet, but I've got a pretty good idea in my head of how I want to get it done. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, popping corks or topwater poppers, basically when you're fishing a popping cork, uh, when you go taut on the line, you, can, you kind of pull it horizontally like that, and that cut face will just sit there and pop that water. And it sounds like uh, fish feeding on bait fish on a surface. It'll actually call them in, and then they'll see your your presentation underneath. Wh whatever that, whatever you happen to be fishing, could, could be a shiner, could be uh, a herring, pilchard, uh, shrimp, uh, artificial shrimp, soft plastic, whatever. Uh, again, a very good tool, effective tool. I use it a lot in Texas, Louisiana, and here in Florida. So uh, we're going to modify a couple of these, and uh, I'll take you take you all through that step by step. All right, peace. All right, these, these popping corks are, are made of a, a hard styrofoam. It's a, a closed cell, cell foam. And, uh, you know, they've got a little bit of weight to them. They're, they're weighted at the bottom, so uh, so they, they float upright. And I'll show you all that in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is, is I want to weigh them because I want to try to get an idea of, of how much they weigh and if they're consistent. So um, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and turn the scale on place that on there okay 0 0.65 so a little little bit more than half an ounce uh, 0.65 of an ounce Let, let's see how consistent they are and there we go that's another one six six point five spot on these things are mass produced so I, I I expect them to have a little bit of variance but but that's uh, another one 0.65 so these these things are real real consistent and uh another six five okay so that answers the question right there that uh a <clears throat> little less than a little more than, than half an ounce and uh the, like i said these things are weighted i'm just going to throw it in water real quick just to show you all how it how it floats with that weight at the bottom and uh you got to have some weight so uh, what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to shorten these up i'm actually going to be cutting them right above where the weight is and I'll be relocating some weight because I need to have some weight to be able to cast them. So uh, let me get a little bit of water here. I just want to show you all real quick how these how these things kind of float in the water. Okay, so I've got this one uh, floating just in a saucepan. It's filled up about three quarters of weight with water. And, and you can see how for the most part it, it, it floats uh, just like that. Uh, it's weighted at the bottom. And what happens is when you go real taut with your line and you flip your rod to it, it pulls it down sideways and uh, pops that water real hard. And like I said, it, it sounds you know, just, just like a, a fish uh, feeding on the surface, popping bait. So it, it, it is a real uh, a good tool for attracting fish. And like I said, they hear that popping noise and then they come and, and uh, see, see your presentation underneath. And, and uh, we've used this technique quite a bit. Uh, again, a lot of people use them for redfish, uh, trout, uh, a few other species as well. But uh, it, it's, it's a very effective uh, uh, device for calling a fish in. Now, when I'm done with uh, when I'm done modifying this thing, it, I want it to, I want it to float just about right there, just so that that cut face is sitting just above the water, or, or even a little bit more submerged. So when I pop it, and, and I don't really have the space to do it in here, but uh, anyone's ever fished with a 
pop and cork or top water popper. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, that's it. Just want to give a quick demonstration on that. And uh, we're going to start playing this thing, see if we can't make something cool. All right, now we go.